GL previous year questions and we'll try to solve each and every question in Anil Nayar's way. Anil Nayar's way is considered to be the easiest way, best way and the fastest way to solve any mathematics problem. We will not use too much of formulae based things. We will not use too much of calculation based thing. Through in this class, you will learn how to solve SSC previous year questions through a prism never seen before. I would strongly recommend each one of you who is attending this class, kindly sit with a notebook and a pen or a pencil. Each and every key point, whatever I am mentioning it, ensure that you write down in your notebook so that you will practice that concept when you get the similar kind of question in the future. Ensure that watch the entire lecture. In case if you are not able to watch it, kindly take some time and watch these lecture in the next 24 hours once it got released. In case if you got any doubts, kindly send your doubts to this mail id and you all know our official email id 80500678891. These are some important information. Now, whenever you are listening to this class, Ensure that you watch the complete lecture, attend all the classes, revise the previous lecture. You can ask all your doubts in a very politeful, respectful way and kindly use the telegram doubt for anything related to academic information. Straight away we will get into the first problem. Each and every problem I will solve it in the way right which I understood the best method to solve the problem. Now, solution. What is given in the question x minus 1 by x is equal to 13. <coughs> x minus 1 by x is equal to 13. What is asked in the question x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4. x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4. This question x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4 can be written as x square plus 1 by x square whole square minus 2. Am I right? a plus b whole square minus 2. a square plus b square plus 2ab and minus 2. Plus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled. That means I require x square plus 1 by x square. Do not do any calculation. Just what we will do is we will solve this question using unit digit logic. We will solve this question using unit digit logic. Using unit digit logic. How to solve this question using unit digit logic? What do we require? x square plus 1 by x square we require. So, what we will do is x minus 1 by x square, x is there, right? We will square it. Squaring on both the sides. If I square it on both the sides, square ring on both the sides. What I will get if I square it? a plus a minus b whole square. a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to 13 square is 169. Please use only unit digit 9. x square plus 1 square unit digit is 9 plus 2 1 x square plus 1 by x square unit digit is 1. I hope the idea it is very much clear. Only unit digit. Here 1 square, 1 square is 1 minus 2. Only unit digit I am using. 1 minus 2 is minus 1. Whenever you are getting negative reminder and that too when you are using unit digit logic, add 10 to it. To get the positive reminder, 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. Again, I am repeating. I read the question. It is x power 4 plus 1 by x power 4. I wrote it as x square plus 1 by x square whole square minus 2. x square plus 1 by x square. I don't know. So, I squared it. a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab is equal to 13 square is 169. Only unit digit I used it. It is a 9. Minus 2 goes right hand side. 
9 plus 2 11 1 x square plus 1 by x square unit digit is 1 1 minus 2 is minus 1 whenever you are using unit digit and you got the final answer as negative reminder minus 1 add 10 to it to get the positive reminder 10 minus 1 is 9 answer unit digit should be 9 here it is not 9 here it is not 9 here it is not 9 so answer for this question is option 4 just by looking at a question otherwise what you will do is you will solve 169 whole square minus 2 169 whole square will take a lot of time i hope you understood the first problem how to use unit digit logic second one a dealer offers 45 percentage discount on a packet there is a packet it seems my friend came and said please give that packet since he is my friend i am offering a discount how much a discount 45 percentage discount and she kept it she gave it to her another friend for further discount of 25 percentage what does a customer has to pay for the packet of 2800 right in cash to avail both the discounts there is a packet which cost 2800 there is a packet which cost 2800 the packet is there with me. My friend came and he said, give me a discount of 45%. 45 percentage. 45 percentage. 45 percentage. That means it is 45 by 100. Instead of giving it 100 rupees, I am giving it 45 rupees less. 45 rupees less is 55. This is the final price. I need to sell it at 100 rupees, but since he is my friend, I gave him a discount of 45 rupees on 100. On 100, 45 less, it is 55. My friend gave it to an another friend. My friend gave it to an another friend at further discount of 25 percentage, which is 25 by 100 down. On 100, 25 less it is 75 the actual cost of the pa packet is 2800 i gave it to my friend instead of giving it 100 rupees i gave a discount of 45 rupees on 100 45 less which is 55 my friend sold it to another friend at 25 percentage discount on 100 25 rupees discount which is 75. Kindly do not solve this problem. The best way to solve this problem is using prime number concept. Using prime number concept. By using this concept, you will get the answer very, very fast. Prime number concept. What is this prime number concept? Listen carefully. 2800. It is 7 into 400. That means 2800 it is divisible by 7 55 it is divisible by 11 55 is 5 into 11 75 is 3 into 25 answer is divisible by 3 and 5 these are all prime numbers 2800 divisible by 7 55 divisible by 11 75 divisible by 3 and 5. Answer should be divisible by 7, 11, 3 and 5. 3 divisibility rule. We know sum of the digits should be divisible. This is sum of the digits is not divisible by 3. Next one. All are divisible by 5. Divisibility rule by 11. Sum of the odd places minus sum of the even places should be divisible by 11. 5 plus 1, 6. 5 plus 1, 6. It is divisible by 11. 5, 0 plus 3, 3. 1 plus 5, 6. Not divisible. 0 plus 2, 2. 1 plus 3, 4. Not divisible. Answer for this question is 1155. Answer for this question is 1155. I hope the idea it is clear. Kindly do not get into 
write any calculation as such any calculation as such i hope the concept it is very much clear right or if you think logically on 2800 into 55 by 100 if it is 50 by 100 i would have got half half of 2800 is 1400 1400 1400 into 75 by 100 1400 into 3 by 4 around 1100 should be the answer the only answer is 1155 that is a traditional method of solving the question but you can solve like this 2800 it is divisible by 7 55 it is divisible by 11 75 it is divisible by 3 answer should be divisible by which prime numbers 7 11 3 and 5 7 also check it out 7 ones are 7 45 7 6 are 42 35 7 5 are 35 option number 3 it is divisible by 7 11 3 and 5